It's a digital age answer to a safe drinking water problem. So I suppose it's pretty cool that they're keeping you aware, which is a good thing, especially with water, which is something that's pretty vital. In the early part of 2017, the university learned that some of their drinking fountains were dispensing water with levels of lead above the safety level of 15 parts per billion set by the EPA. 40 fountains needed to be shut down. They then tested all 800 of the university's fountains. The idea of putting the labels on the fountains uh, with the QR code, which links directly to the data for that exact fountain so that people can see instantly what the level is for that particular fountain. That means like the school is actually like looking out for us. They really care about us and everything. And they, they really care about like what we're consuming and what we're eating and stuff. They came up with the idea because students always have their phones in their hands. This is a fountain we found on the first floor of Lassen Hall. You pull out your cell phone, use a QR reader to scan the code on the sticker, and the report instantly pops up. The test on this fountain was done on March 3rd, 2017, with a reading of 0.19 parts per billion, far below the EPA's suggestion of 15. The fountains also have a water filtration system and a water bottle refill option with a digital readout that reminds you how many plastic water bottles won't end up in the landfill. It's the 21st century and, you know, this is the digital age and for you to be able to just scan a code like that and get a report is amazing. In Sacramento, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News.